for the students? Are you all able to hear me now? Are we clear? Are we able to hear me? Yes. Is it clear, everybody? I'm checking my checking the comments. Yes. Now it's audible. Okay. All right. Hey, everyone. All right. So it's sorted now. Yes. Yes. Are you Kushba all able to hear me, Ashwara, ma'am? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, Kushba, ma'am. Are you able to hear me? <laughs> yes. 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 I can hear you. Awesome. All right. All right. So I think, ma'am, you might have told them how to join the mentee. Yes. I think students who are regularly coming for the classes, they already know it, right? Yes, it did. Quickly join it. You can see the code on the screen. Yes. Yes, we are waiting. We will wait for another few seconds on the same slide. Quickly join it and let us know in the chat that you have joined. All right, all right. And once you join it, it's echoing. Is it working fine for others? Yes. Can we do a quick check? Can you all quickly let us know if the audio is clear from both my end and Kushbu Ma'am's end, right? Okay. Yes, everyone, quickly, thumbs up, smileys. They are saying yes. All right, all right, great. So once you join it, once you join the quiz, it will redirect to your page wherein you have to fill in all the details like your name, your telephone number, your grade and area pin code. Quickly fill in all the details and let us know in the chat that you have filled it. Just write down filled. We will understand. Yes, the code is it's written at the top. I hope that's visible. That's 4991-7725. Quickly, everyone, join it. Ashwara, ma'am. By the way, what do you think? Who is going to win today? Math team or bio team? <laughs> so, ma'am, some of them in my previous session have already told that math wants to win. Math will be winning. Like, they're like, math is winning and all of that. So, I have a <laughs> feeling that, you know, they want maths to win today. But trust me, biology, I'm telling you, questions are going to be easy, guys. So, I'm sure it's going to be very simple. Although, obviously, I want that math team should win. But still, I feel that definitely bio will win. Because obviously, math and bio, if you compare it, math is yeah. anyways, yes, it's a little difficult, yeah, right? You yeah. have to solve the question and then give the answer. And bi biology is a theoretical subject. So yeah. either you know the answer or you don't know it. Ha! Huh, yes, definitely. I agree to that, right? And of course, guys, a lot of you here, I'm telling you, questions are going to be easy. When they're asking for the chapter as well. So I think from biology, it's going to be on yes. nutrition in plants. And for maths, ma'am? And it's going to be integers and fractions and decimals. So basically, we're covering, covering two chapters. And I tell you one more thing why I have this feeling that bio is going to win. Because today only we had a quiz on fractions and decimals. Okay. And in that quiz only, I could say that the students were not very much prepared for it. Hmm. So I have this feeling that definitely bio team is going to win this time. But now yes, they've yes, also yes, had... We are but they've also had practice yeah, some time back, right? <laughs> From the same yeah, chapter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that point can also be considered, right, Ashwara, ma'am? Yes, yes, we are going to wait on this slide another few seconds. Quickly fill in the details and just let, me, let us know in the chat that you have filled. Yes, quickly, everybody. Digital pen. Yes, I know Mayank. Mayank is asking for the digital pen. Okay, let's see which team wins today. Filled and joined. All right, all right. Great. I think, Ashwara, ma'am, they all have joined it they have filled in the details so i think let's not waste any more time here yes let's move ahead so an important update for you i know that this is something we have talked earlier as well but there is a slight change yes it's regarding the baiju's classes two teacher advantage but now we are getting three sessions for 399 but still the benefits are same we still have the advantage that you can choose the class timings yourself and for whatever subject you want to take the class for three sessions so three subjects you can choose here of course, since it's a two teacher advantage is there. So one teacher is teaching you, another one is will be solving your doubts. So definitely doubt clarification sessions would be there. And for evaluating you, multiple mock tests would be taken. As well as one on one guidance from the personal mentor is there. So I would say that in all you're getting a whole, a very good package over here, isn't it? Yes, definitely. So the link for given is for this is given in the description. Please do go check that out if you haven't checked it. Yes. All right, and I hope everybody has joined the Telegram channel. Students who are regularly coming for the classes, they know it, they have joined it, and they have actually 
seen it. So many things we share over there. And the students who are new here, let me tell you, so many benefits we get here. We sh the sessions that we are doing over here, you get the session PDFs, quizzes, Sunday facts, revision questions, homework question, of course, session updates as well. All right, link for this as well is given in the description. Please do join it if you haven't yet. I think students, this is one comment, Ashwara ma'am, that we always get when I, whenever we have a session together, yeah. that Ashwara ma'am's energy is like a rocket. And I would completely <laughs> agree with this thing. <laughs> so what so is the secret of, of your me. energy? Eating healthy food, everybody. It's important you eat well, oh. right? <laughs> so it's, Absolutely. I always, I always make sure that I eat before the sessions, right? And I try to not eat a lot of junk as well. So it's all for all you kids out there, eat well. <laughs> I, and see, Kushbu ma'am also yeah. eats very well, you know that, right? She eats very healthy and but she Kushu eats... But ma'am eats... <laughs> yeah, but Kushu ma'am eats a lot of junk as well. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. So I would completely agree to Ashwara ma'am. Yes, you should take a balance and healthy diet. See, don't be like me. I eat a lot of junk food. So don't do that, please. All right, for now, let's get started. So in all, we are going to have 16 questions in this quiz. First question is from biology. So let's quickly take a look. Yes, guys, very simple question. First one is, of course, some plants do photosynthesis as well as depend on other plants for some nutrients. An example of such a plant is what? Is it pitcher plant, mushroom, algae or fungi? Now see, you read the options. Even if you just read the options, I'm telling you, you will get the answer for this, right? So this is going to be very easy. We have 13 seconds left. We're talking about photosynthesis as well as dependent on other nutrients. I'm stressing on the key words for this particular question. Yes. Yes, ma we will be giving you time. Very good, everyone. Very good. 30 of you have got the answer for this. And 16 of you got confused with algae. It's very easy, right? Because when we talk about plants that have the ability to do photosynthesis as well as you know, depend on other nutrients. We know that pitcher plant is an example of an insectivorous plant, right? So in insectivorous plants, we know that, you know, they grow in nitrogen deficient soil. So they need to eat the insects to get the nitrogen. Are we clear? Okay, yes, Anzar, we'll do that. Kushbu ma'am, I think we may have to wait on the question slide which says, you know, 1 out of 15, 2 out of 15 because they need to enter their name there. Otherwise, they may not be able sure, to sure. do the quiz. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right, definitely. So, Ashwarma, I was thinking, who is going to note down the scores? Because, are you noting down the scores? Because I'm not doing it. Or let students do it. Yeah, I'll write it down. I have a piece of paper here with All me. Right. I think this pen works. Or else, ma'am, in the meanwhile, when you are taking the maths question, I'll quickly go run and get it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Or sometimes, you know, what the students, they would they would actually maintaining the scores and at the end they are telling us. A lot many times this has also happened because yeah. I generally forget the pen and paper to carry, to keep it <laughs> along with me. All right, right. So in the first one, we can see 30 students have given the right. So you keep maintaining the scores. Yes. All right. So shall we move ahead? Yes. To the next question. Yes. So this was just the explanation for what I've just told you, ma'am. I think we can move ahead to the maths question. All right. So let's quickly take a look at question number two now. Sure, sure, we will give you time to write. So if plus 42 represents 42 meters above the water surface, then what does 98 minus 115 represents? Is it 17 meters above the water surface, 27 meters below the water surface, 17 meters below the water surface or 27 meters above the water surface? Trust me, it's a very simple question, right? If you see the options carefully, we, you will be able to judge the answer. In the question, you can see different, different numbers. It's just given to confuse you. It's very simple. All right, all right. Yes. So the time is up and right answer is 17 meter below the water surface. What happened this time? This was a pretty easy question. How could you go wrong over here? Still, Chitra, you are saying 27 meter above the water surface. See, question says, what is plus 42? It is representing that 42 meter above the water surface. Let's consider this water level over here. Above that, it is positive. Below that, it is negative. Now, 98 minus 115. We are using the concept of integers over here. That's going to be minus 17. So, if 
plus 42 is above the water surface. So minus 17 is going to be what? That's going to be 17 meter below the water surface. That was pretty simple. What happened? Misclicked. Oh, it happens sometimes. You were doing the calculation, the time ran out. I think this is the one of the major mm. challenges that students face while doing maths questions, right? Yeah. Generally, you know, they're, they feel that they're running out of time. Even if they know the question, they're not able to solve it. Yeah, yeah. Or sometimes, obviously, in the calculations, you end up making silly mistakes, especially when there's a timer running, you get under pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. I think the timer scares them when it comes to math. Yeah. All right, no worries. Let's move ahead. Let's quickly take a look at another question. Question number three. Yes. Uh, Ma'am, I think in the previous, the when it says three out of 15, we may have to wait like for one second or two seconds for them to fill oh, their yes. names Sorry, from next yeah, time. Yeah. So guys, very direct question. This one, find the odd one out, right? So we have Rafflesia, Cascuta, Pitcher Plant, Grass. Very simple and direct question. Spend some time on figuring out and I'll give you a hint here, it is on modes of nutrition, yes? So we know there are two categories of and modes of nutrition and we know about both of it. And it's a very simple one here. Very good everyone, very good. I can see that 35 of you have got this answer right. Now, for 12 and 8 of you who got confused here, yes? So we have Rafflesia, which is a parasitic plant. We know that Rafflesia has the largest flower and although it is the largest flower, it is a parasite. It is dependent on another plant for nutrition. It cannot prepare its own food. Cascuta cannot prepare its own food. It is, a, it is also a parasite. You have pitcher plant, which is partial autotroph, but partial heterotroph also. But grass is green, right? And it represents autotrophic mode of nutrition and it is fully photosynthetic. Yes? Are we clear with this concept, everyone? Because sometimes what happens is we don't read the question entirely and we mix up our concepts. But I'm happy that most, most of you have got this right. It's great. Yes. All right, ma'am. All I right. So Ashwara ma'am is maintaining the score. So who won the first round, Ashwara ma'am? Like what was the scores for the first round? First round, ma'am, by one. 30 students were oh, there. I... See, that's what I told you. In the beginning also, I was fee I had this feeling that definitely bio is going to win. All right, no worries. Thoda try kar lo. Math is not that difficult. Come on. Question number four. So if A chocolates are distributed among B students equally, then what is the share of chocolates obtained by each student? I think this is something that not only grades in grade 7, I think 5th graders, 4th graders can all will also be able to answer this thing. It's just that instead of numbers, we have got variables over here. Even students are saying, if you see in the chat, they are saying, yes, yeah. bio will win. <laughs> <laughs> I think math in general scares them a little, so that's probably why they say yeah. that. <laughs> All right, all right. So time is up. But still, I was not expecting this, Ashwara ma'am. But still, lot many of them have given the right answer. And that's amazing. Yes, absolutely A by B. But still, who are thinking that B by A, A plus B, A by A, how is A plus B is possible? And how is A minus B possible? See, we are saying that in all, we have got A chocolates. But number of students are B. I have to distribute the number of chocolates equally amongst them. So obviously, the number of chocolates are A, students are B. That's going to be A by B. What was so difficult in that? As a gift, math will win. Oh, okay, as a birthday gift. <laughs> Thank you, Ritika. All right. So it was a pretty simple one. I'm sure that whomsoever has given the wrong answer here, maybe you did not read the question carefully. Right? That was a pretty simple question. All right. Let's move ahead to another not a question. Time to show you the leaderboard. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. So fastest is Annie and she has given the maximum correct answers as well. Wow. It's great. And Shami, Hirsch, Casper, Clippy, Frosty, Zlatan, Simba, Ribbit and the Hustler. See, it would be great if you could if you could write your actual yeah. names. At least we should also understand that who has given like who is on the top, who all are there are actually on the leaderboard. Because generally what happens, you use different IDs and you tell us your real names as well. Yes. Anik is saying first round bio, second round math. Is it so Ashwara ma'am? Because yes. I didn't see the numbers really. Yeah. Because... Oh wow. <laughs> so till now it's a tie. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> All right. See, it's okay. Fifteenth place, ninth place, it's fine. Rank doesn't matter. Students who are there on the leaderboard, even who are not there on the leaderboard, doesn't matter. What matters is that you are able to understand things. So yeah. when you come for the quiz, the best thing is you can actually, you know, evaluate yourself. Questions are easy. Time is less. So you need to work on your speed. Time is given appropriately. Another question for bio. Question number five. Yes, guys, let's get started. This is going to be a very simple one, right? So let's mo get moving. I think mom has given all of you time to write your names as well. The chemical that is used in starch test. Now, all of you, you should be getting this answer. This is very easy. Blue ink, safranin, litmus, iodine. We're talking about starch test, a test that we use to detect the presence of starch, especially when we say leaves, right? And we learned about this in, when we learned about experiments based on photosynthesis. Yes, let us not write the answers in the chat. Just let us know that you are done once you are, you know, done. Yes, Ashwara ma'am, this is one question which I also remember. Yes. Because we have done <laughs> experiments also in the school on this one. Yes. And this was a pretty good experiment. Wow. Very good, guys. Very good. 48 of you have got this answer right. And ma'am, like you said, it's a very simple and a very interesting experiment also that we do, right? Yeah. So now we know that when you add starch, I mean, when you add iodine solution, that is normally brownish in color, but when you add it to a sample that has starch in it, it will turn blue-black. And if that blue-black color is present, then it helps you detect the presence of starch in that sample. If it is not there, no starch. Very simple and easy. Yes, ma'am. I think we can move on because a lot of them are very clear with this concept. Right. Yeah. Shriyasi Zindabad, got it right. <laughs> Come on, this time math has to win. We have to give the right answer this time. Yes, everybody. Fractions and decimals we have done today only. So, 80 minutes equals to dash hours. A pretty simple question. Yes. It's only calculation is involved. I hope that all of you, I'm sure that all of you would know the conversion of hour and minutes, right? Using that, just giving you a hint because... I honestly want you all to win. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is actually easy. It's Even like, I'm able to do that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, are sahi answer de do, yaar. <laughs> Come on, guys. This is going to be easy. All right, all right. Yes, time is up. See? Oh, 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 oh. Did you all discuss it? Before giving the answers. Ki iska answer 3 by 4, 6 by 5, 2 by 3. How come it is, numbers are so close? Okay, no worries. Now you can check the solution. You can see where you went wrong. So, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. We know that. But if I say, I can write it this way as well. 60 minutes equal to 1 hour. It's the same thing, right? So, 1 minute is going to be equals to 1 by 60th hour. Now, in the question, it is asked what 80 minutes is equals to. So, 80 minutes is going to be equals to 1 by 60 times 80. Cancel out the zeros. You get 8 by 6. Reduce it. You get 4 by 3 hour. What was so difficult in it? It was just a simple thing. A simple concept of conversion from hour to minutes. Uh, and then the calculation was not that difficult. Yeah? Any confusion still here? See, if you have any questions, please post that in the chat section. Any doubt, any confusion? Simple one, right, Chetan? Chetan likes both math and bio. So, obviously, you would say that it was a simple one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you thought Q is a variable. Oh, oh, oh. No, Sweta, it's, it won't be 2 by 1. How can you get 2 by 1 over here if you cancel this out, if you reduce it? No doubts? Okay, great. Let's move ahead. Let's quickly take a look at question number 7. Quickly fill in your details. Yes. All right, all right. So, let's take a look at another bio question. So again, pitcher plant like pitcher like structure in the pitcher plant is a modification of which part of the plant? Is it a modified stem, a modified root, is it a modified fruit, or is it a modified leaf? Now we're talking about modifications. And now we know why pitcher plant requires that modification. Because it needs to trap the insects to get nitrogen, right? So that's where they obtain their nitrogen. So you just need to recall which part of it is actually modified, right? Amazing guys, amazing. 49 of you have got this right. 
because we know that the part that is pitcher like plant or the pitcher the jug like structure that is there is nothing but the leaf it is a modified leaf and the top that you see the cap that is there is actually the apex or the leaf tip that is there so are we clear with this yes very simple concept and for those of you who are going to ask me what is nepenthes nepenthes is nothing but another name it is a scientific name for pitcher that's all yes <laughs> all right yes people are asking which team is winning till now ashwara ma'am till now which team is winning so math out of this one yes three rounds bio has won two rounds and math has won one oh, round oh oh oh, oh. come on yes. students what are you doing integers and fractions and decimals are not that difficult <laughs> yes we have to win <laughs> they are like math is like kabhi khushi kabhi gham <laughs> completely agree yes <laughs> you can say that <laughs> All right. Let's quickly take a look at another question. Solve minus twenty-four times one hundred two using distributive law. I hope you all are aware of the distributive property. I think properties is one part where mostly students struggle with. Yeah. Because generally, because they have got different different properties, they would mix. Alab. I mean, let's suppose mm. it is associative, it is distributed. They would mix the content. I mean, the yeah. concepts of both of them, like distributive right, right. with associative, or they're not really clear with it. but yes. it's very important also when it comes to calculations because they, they make the calculations a lot more simpler yes rutika great okay so we can see answers minus 2448 that's the right answer still a lot many students have given the right answer here that's good yes and the students who got this incorrect you can check here the solution where you went wrong see distributive property of multiplication over addition it's nothing that's a times b plus c if you open this bracket up what do we do we simply multiply the number that is written outside with each of the terms that's written inside and the signs have to be there whatever sign is there so a times b plus a times c similarly we can split 102 as 100 plus 2 now simply multiply minus 24 with 100 plus minus 24 times 2 that's minus 2400 plus minus 48 now use the concept of integers minus minus plus you get minus 2448 pretty simple one yes but still i'm glad that most of you have given the right answer here i was not expecting it because generally i know that the um, the properties part is a difficult one for students thank you ritika yes 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 don't worry we will show you the leaderboard all right so let's see who is at the top this time So, ma'am, would you like to read out the names? Yes, Nauman has made it on top, and he's the fastest. He's got about seven thousand two hundred and eighty points. Then we have Adiraj, Nihal, Khalid. We have Damu, Harsh, Raj, Shweta, Shweta, Kavya, and Askin. Sweet as sugar. <laughs> Sugar cane, <laughs> yeah, sugar cane. Very interesting names. But congratulations, everybody. Well done. Irrespective of the leaderboard and whatever is there, like Mam said, right? It's important that you understand the concept, you apply your concept, and even if you make a mistake, figure out where you're going wrong. That I think is a very important thing, right, Mam? Yes, <clears throat> yes, yes. So these quizzes are actually, you know, helpful for you because here, when you come, you can identify your weakness. Now, important thing is you can, when you see that, okay, this is where I'm going wrong. Learn from it. First of all, we need to admit it. Yes, I have done it wrong, but next time I'm not going to repeat it. So admitting is very important. Yes. What do you definitely. think, Ashwarya? Isn't it? Sometimes we make a mistake, but we don't admit it. We are like, nay, nay, nay. Ye to mujhe aata hai, mujhe still aata hai. A lot many students do that, in fact. All right, all right. Uh, let's move ahead to the question number nine. All right. So quickly fill in the, your details. Okay. So here we go. All right. So let's have a look at the biology question. Lichens show what kind of nutrition or what kind of relationship? So is it symbiotic? Is it parasitic? Is it saprophytic? Or it is none of the above? Now let's go back and let's take a minute. Don't jump into writing the answer. I'll tell you. Take a minute. Think about it. About what lichens are. What kind of organisms you find. I always tell you, right? There's an easy way to remember the relationship, especially with saprophytic, symbiotic, and parasitic. We have five more seconds, and I can see a lot of you are already saying done on the chat. I'm assuming it's going to be easy. Great going, guys. Great wow. going. 
Yes, 52 of you have got this right. Now we know lichens are organisms that are made up of both micro, we have algae as well as we have fungi and they both help each other out, right? So I tell you, like, and when this kind of a relationship is there, it's like two friends helping each other out and that is what we call as symbiotic relationship. Now parasitic is when it is entirely dependent on the other and when we talk about saprophytic, they are found growing on dead and decaying organisms. So lichens are an example of symbiotic association and we also know that rhizobium along with leguminous plants is another example. Yes, so very good everybody, very good. Yes, till now bio is winning, we know that, yeah. <laughs> and honestly ma'am, when I am going through all these questions, like biology questions, I am also able to remember what I learned so many years back. Yeah, definitely. I can see, I, I, I feel excited about solving those math calculations that I'm able to do. Yeah, it happens, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's move ahead. Let's quickly take a look at question number 10. All right, so here we go. Let's take a look at another math question. Find the value of A if 6A by 7 is equal to 47 by 7. It's just simple calculation. Come on, don't. I'm not, this time I'm expecting that all of you would give the right answer for this. Uh, Diksha is saying, ma'am, jaldi jaldi karna hota hai na. Time bhi kam hota hai. Hmm. They're saying, sorry ma'am, math, I need some more time to solve. I think, Ashwara ma'am, this is the biggest challenge that we face in mathematics, isn't it? Yeah. Even if they know how to solve this, they know the concepts, but they're not able to solve in that particular span of time. Generally, yes. it happens with students that you're running out of time. So yeah. one thing you all need to learn, time management. That's very important, especially not just for maths, I would say for any, any paper. Yes, a lot many students I can see have given the right answer for this and that's amazing. This was actually a pretty simple question, only calculation was involved. Let's quickly take a look at the solution. So 6a by 7, we know that it's a mixed fraction. We will first convert that into an improper fraction. You get 42 plus a by 7. In the question, it's already given that it's equal to 47 by 7. Both of them have got 7 in the denominator. We will simply cancel this out. We get 42 plus a equal to 47. Shift this to the other side, you get a equals to 5. Simple one, yes? More time though. More time nahi mil sakta hai. <laughs> time is given appropriately. You need to start working on your speed. Yes? Don't worry, we will show you the leaderboard. They are saying, ma'am, math ka turn aata hai, to dar lagne lag jata hai. <laughs> <laughs> See, we can relate to this. I think when we were in school, this used to happen with us also. Yeah. And from all the, like, from all the exam papers, I would never get scared. But when it comes to math paper, I used to be so scared at that day. I yeah, still remember. have like a countdown. Though I was oh. good at it. Five days uh -huh. left for math paper, oh, four more days. Even if you've studied, you're still, no, you're scared. <laughs> yeah. I don't know with maths, you have that mental blockage. Yeah. And it's with so many students. All right, let's move ahead to the next question. Question number 11, and this is from biology. I hope you all must have entered all your details. Okay, let's take a look. All right, guys, during photosynthesis, what is going to happen? So you just need to recall concept of photosynthesis. So here we have a lot of options. Uh -huh. Read the options. You don't need to run to write, write the answer. Read the options because they've all interchanged some of it here and there. Solar to chemical. Is it solar to mechanical? Solar energy, chemical energy getting converted to mechanical or bioenergy to chemical. Now, this is very easy, guys. Think about what is happening in photosynthesis. Yes? Time's up and very good, very good. I can see 58 of you have got this right. Yes? All right. Because we know that in photosynthesis, the name in itself, photo means light. Right? Synthesis is to combine. So we know that in the presence of light, carbon dioxide and water will combine together to give us glucose. And what, is what essentially happens in this process is that the light energy or the solar energy from the sun is getting utilized and it is getting converted to chemical energy and that energy gets stored in glucose. Yes? So the conversion is solar to chemical. Right? There's nothing, no bioenergy, there's no mechanical energy, nothing of that form. So very simple and easy question. I'm very happy a lot of you have got this right and read through the options. Because sometimes, you know, when you're in a hurry, ma'am, they tend to, you know, have some, they yeah, tend to not read very, the options entirely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely agree, ma'am. All right, let's move ahead now. 
let's quickly take a look at question number 12. All right, so here we go. Yes. 7 plus 7 divide by 7 plus 7 times 7 minus 7 is equals to what? Now, this is going to be a very interesting one. It's a very simple question though. Yeah. But it could be tricky for some of you as well. And I tell you, Ishwara ma'am, recently, not recently, I think a couple of uh, uh, weeks before, I made a video on this mm. type of questions as well. The students who have seen that, they would be able to do it, I'm sure. They would know what concept we are using here. Yes. <laughs> ma'am, there's a, yeah, yeah, I, I want to say, there's a rule, right ma'am? There's a rule that you have to apply here. Am I right? <laughs> Close enough? Yes, absolutely, Ashwarya ma'am. See, Ashwarya ma'am also knows it. <laughs> you see, still, but still I'm happy ma'am that so many students are managed to give the right answer for this. Yes, you're right. So we are using the rule, board mass rule over here, right? And we all know what board mass stands for. So here, each of these letters is representing something, right? So we go in the order of these letters. So here we can see in this expression, we can see plus division, multiplication, subtraction. So I go in the order as written in this board mass. So first we start with division. So 7 divided by 7 is going to be 1. Then we do the multiplication part. 7 times 7 is 49. So we can see that this 7, positive 7, negative 7 will cancel out and you are left with 1 plus 49. That's 50. A pretty simple one. A simple board mass will be used here. Yes? Somebody asked me, then ma'am, aapko maths kaise pasand aaya? See, I never said that I didn't like math. I like math, but yes, I also used to get very scared of uh, whenever I had a math exam. But I tell you one thing, why, the reason why I used to get scared is because I had a lot of pressure. Pressure okay. as in, my parents had a lot of expectation from me. My teachers mm -hmm. had a lot of expectation from me, especially for the math paper. That khushbu is going to spore full. And when you have that pressure in your mind, yeah. you end up getting nervous. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I think this happens with a lot many students. So, I was, when she asked me, I was actually able, I was actually thinking, why then, I mean, how I like this subject? Then I yeah. realized, no, I always liked it actually. So this was the reason. So please, never ever get pressurized. Whenever you go for exam, don't think about ranks, don't think about scores. When I say this thing, I really mean it because we have also experienced all this. So whatever advice, whatever suggestions we give you, so this is something that we have learned over the years from our experiences. Today was the math exam. I hope it went well, Chetan. Yes, leaderboard dikha rahe hai. Don't worry. All right, all right. So, Ashmara, ma'am, would you like to read out the... Yes, definitely. So, yes. Naman is still on top, but Raj has become the fastest this time around. We have Adiraj, Khalid, Kavya, Harsh, Damu, again, Askin, Sweetest, Sugarcane, Bhavya, I like stationery, and Nihal, right? So, I like wow. the extra twist that's coming with their names. Very interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's move ahead. Let's quickly take a look at question number 13 now. And this is from biology. I'm sure you must have filled in your details by now. All right. Let's take a look at the question. Yes. The end products of photosynthesis are what? This is very easy, guys. All of you who are there in this mentee should be getting the answer. So we have carbohydrates and oxygen, carbohydrates and hydrogen. We have carbohydrates, water vapor, and we have carbohydrates, oxygen, and water vapor. Okay, then. Right, so no, I, I know the answer of this question. It's a very simple one. <laughs> yes. It's a very simple one, guys. We just spoke about how I already gave half of the answer away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yes, I can see that a lot of you have marked the correct answer. Okay. I know here there's going to be a little bit, a lot of you telling me, ma'am, actually option D should have been the answer. So, yes, ideally, when we talk about a chemical reaction that we talk about, no, we have little amount of water vapor that comes out, right? So, yes, for because I know some conversation is definitely going to happen in the chat regarding this. See, primary products, when you say end products, no, primary end products will be glucose and oxygen. But yes, I agree, water vapor, that would have also been the right answer. So, in this case, it's like a little bit of a multi-select kind of thing because some amount of water vapor is given out. But again, when you compare to how much glucose and oxygen gets produced, it's like trace amounts, right? So are we clear with this concept that primary end products are glucose and oxygen? Yes? Can you quickly give me a show of hands in the chat so that I know we're good to go? 
Right. I know because I know the water vapor question will come in. In the chemical reaction, we also mentioned water vapor. That's why. Okay. Amazing, guys. Amazing, ma'am. Yes, all we right, can move right. on. So, shall we move ahead? Yes. All right. So, let's quickly take a look at another math question. All right. Let's quickly take a look. Come on. This time, we have to give the right answer. A shopkeeper purchased 15 chocolates for rupees 97.50. The cost price per piece of chocolate is. This is not a difficult one. Come on. For this one, we all can give the right answer. But just be careful with your calculations. I think the decimal is where they may like lose it out. Yeah, they might make error, right? Yeah. Because I know that. See, in math, if you see the syllabus like for mm. uh, for seventh graders, it's not that difficult. It's not that vast. But obviously, it's all about practice. The more they practice it, the better it is going to be. Yes. Ashwara, ma'am, you were right. They might make an error. Uh, you know, they might miss out the decimal part. And I think that would have been the reason over here. Why we can see a mm. lot many students have given the incorrect answers. Okay. So, this was simple. Total 15 chocolates are there. And total cost is 97.50. So, we simply have to divide them to get the chocolate per chocolate price, right? So, once you divide it, see, this could have been done in two ways. Either you remove the decimal and then solve it first. Or you could have done it directly using the decimal. So, answer would be rupees 6.50. I know that I won't be able to write here. Otherwise, I would have shown that to you how to calculate it. Yes, 6.5. No confusions. Quickly give me thumbs up in the chat if this is clear to you. You clicked 6.15 only. Yeah, 6.15, 6.50. All right, all right, let's, you have a question for us. Yes, I know that it, it takes time to divide. That's what I'm saying. That here, whatever time we are giving you, it's absolutely appropriate. See, in the unit test, in the exams, you are given lesser time than that. So basically, we are preparing you for your papers, right? So that you can learn time management also. No confusion. I can see lots of thumbs up in the chat. All right, all right. Yes, we know that bio is bio team is winning. <laughs> again and again. <laughs> again and again they are mentioning it. Bio winner, bio winner. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's move ahead. Let's quickly take a look at question number 15 now. Yes, yeah, so this is the last bio question, guys. Very simple. Again, uh -huh, this is very easy. Through which part of the plant does carbon dioxide enter into the leaves? Root, hair, stomata, leaf, veins, sepals. This is so direct that I want all of you to give me the correct answer for this. It's very direct. I'm no, sure they all will get the right answer. <laughs> even I even I know the answer for this question. <laughs> Ashwaram, tell me one thing. Deliberately you have given simple questions in bio? No, no. Because the... maths is anyways hard. <laughs> no, so this chapter is very easy like that for them. So it's the chapter I would say. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they tell me that I leak answers also. <laughs> 54. Very... That I could also see that. Yeah. yeah. So even in today's mentee, when I was doing for the 8th graders, they were telling me like you and Saurabh sir are always leaking answers in the mentee. Because in our explanation, we go on when we don't realize that, oh my God, there's a question like this coming later. <laughs> so yes, guys, it is the stomata. We know that stomata are small, tiny openings which are present on the underside of the leaves, right? Primarily, we find more of them on the underside and we find few on the, on the upper side of the leaves. And these are small openings through which gaseous exchange takes place, which means carbon dioxide from the outside will enter into the leaves, right? And oxygen that gets produced as a result of photosynthesis will come out, right? So this is something that you need to remember when it comes to stomata. And we also have guard cells, which are those bean-shaped cells that you can see there. Yes? So with this, ma'am, we're done with all the bio questions. All right, let's move ahead to the last math question. See, till now, bio team is winning. So anyways, bio is going to win. We know that. So, but still, still try. Try giving the right answer for this question. At least I should be, I would be happy. Yes, Sara. All right, let's quickly take a look at the question. 15 times 21 plus minus 5 times minus 7 is going to be what? Pretty simple one. Simple, you're using a property here. 
I tell you something. Some of you might not be using property in this, but still, obviously, you would get the right answer. But the ideal way to do is use a property and then solve it. Because obviously, here it's an MCQ question. Doesn't matter whichever method you use. You just have to give the right answer. But when you talk about the subjective one, there, whatever you are writing, each and every step would be considered, right? Would that would be checked? So try using a property and then solve it. Legends make a mistake on this question. Oh yeah. <laughs> So here we can see answer is 350 and I can see that some of you are confused. See even as I said even if you don't use a property here still you would get the right answer. Answer is still going to be the same. Let's take a look at the solution. So here 15 times 21 plus minus 5 times minus 7. So this has been solved using board mass. You can use a property as well like if you take common out and then solve it still you would get the right answer. That's going to be 315 plus minus 5 times minus 7 that's positive 35 you get 350. Yes, Esna Gendra. Yes, you said that. Legends make mistake on this question. So, basically, we can accept those students. Whomsoever has made a mistake here, yeah? <laughs> Ma'am, math bichara. Yeah, that's what I said. Math bichara hi hai. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, we are done with all the questions. All right. So, just let's see. Just take a look at the last leaderboard. What do you think? Who is going to win? Oh, Adiraj, wow. Well done, awesome. Adiraj, Amazing. well done. Yes. All right, so I think we are done, ma'am, with all the questions. And yes. this is something that we always tell them. We have got you covered. Don't worry, right. so many sessions we have planned for you from every Monday to Friday to make you exam ready. And whatever advice we share with you, whatever suggestions we give you, please try to follow them. Try inculcating those small, small things in your daily routine. It's definitely going to help you in the long run. Definitely. And of course, you know, we've got you covered. And if you like these sessions, because you know, Kushbu Ma'am and I and all of us teachers, we love coming, spending time with you. We like taking sessions together also, right? So if you love this video, let us know in the comment section below as well. Hit the like button, share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel for regular notifications. Yes, so it's very important that you stay tuned because we will get you exam ready. And wherever you have any doubts or issues, we are there to help you out. And guys, irrespective of your score in this mentee, right? So don't judge yourself based on just one quiz that is happening here. Ma'am, I think... Each quiz is just a test for them that we give. It's a practice for them, right? Exactly. Right. So yes. it's just for you to practice and make yourselves thorough with the concepts, not to just have it, you know, going wherein it's not a place where you judge yourself. But yes, you can, you know, sort of maybe learn, okay, I made maybe out of 10 questions, I got 8 right. Tomorrow I'll aim to get maybe 9 right. So let's have that kind of a mentality. That will definitely help you. Absolutely. Don't worry about the you others. You should have a growth mindset. Yes. So don't give up so easily, even if you're making mistakes here. I would say that it's good that you're making mistakes here, right? Because see, success, as we say, it doesn't yeah. happen in a day, right? Yes. It's a long journey. Mm. So even if you're failing 10 times, you should have that mindset and I will get up 11 times. Yes? Yes. All right, all right. So don't be disheartened if you, that the people who were not there on the leaderboard. So don't think about ranks every time, right? As I always say, make... You should have that mindset that you should learn things well, understand mm -hmm. things properly because your knowledge is going to stay with you forever and that is going to help you in the long run. Yes. All right, all right. So we will see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone.